Yo guys, with Ops here. Today I'm going to continue looking at the NES thing, so let's jump straight into it. So last time, if I'm not mistaken, I looked at this one, which was a lot of weird stuff. Uh, so today we're going to look... Wait, did I do this one? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start with 261. It's going to be Contest. It's a space shooter? Oh, you can actually shoot backwards as well. Okay, so this is... Uh kind of shooter on a board you have a ship to destroy and every time they fire these like green things and also like if they bump into you i think that counts as a as a hit okay so yeah basically you can't let them touch you or let these green targets touch you uh apart from that though just shoot 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 you can shoot from anywhere it's gonna hit him okay so it's not like you can even miss. It's like you're you're firing missiles, which are you know target locked all the time. Uh, so it's really really easy. Just make sure to avoid all the stuff there. Shoot his ass, and you move on to the next level. That's really all there is to it. So let's move on to the next one. Strange name too. Contest. Oops, that's too far. Uh, Cookie's Labyrinth is next. Okay. What? Okay, so you're a mouse. Uh, I see. So there's a timer. Okay. So I should be able to get that one. Uh, yep. Okay, so basically, again, that's it. Yep, uh, I'm just going to pause it because that's going to be it. Uh, it's, well, it's kind of like, you know, Pac-Man, but without any ghosts. And you just pick up the cookies. And if you get all of them, you move on to the next stage. The only question is, like, over time, does do enemies appear or, or not? So let's just maybe give it a bit more time here. Here. Oh man, that's this one is annoying, uh, but it's okay. I should have enough time. The control is a bit strange because the the character is like oversized, you know. There's no challenge, though. Ah, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here you have your first enemy. I don't know. Okay. What is that even? Oh, let's see. Okay. There's no attack, nothing, of course. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, you do have enemies, but no music. Just like, uh, why would you play this? Like, please give me a reason to play this. I, I don't see one. Okay, next is going to be Crystal Blast.
Wait, what the? Huh? Nothing works, by the way. I'm pushing all the buttons and nothing works. I can pause. Well, I can pause to... Or whatever. How the hell do you move this thing? Okay. Okay, um, let's do it one more time. Okay, uh, yeah, so in that one, you're a kind of slow-moving aircraft or whatever, and you drop these bombs on the crystals. It's basically a matter of timing. Like, there's really not, like, there's no strategy there, nothing. Just, it's basically, you have to have the right timing. That's all. Uh, yeah, skip. Next one, deformable. Okay. Is it okay? Is it a car game or is it a jet plane? Hmm. Let's see. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I see. Wow, this sucks. Like, honestly, this, this is terrible. Yeah, you, can, you can barely avoid these things. Like, the, you don't know where it's coming from. Like, seriously, this is terrible. This is awful. Okay. 
okay he did finish the race but what about the points do they matter okay so who won and then you get this high pitch note this is um okay all right uh I don't know, like, th I think this is better with two players, actually. Yeah, because, like, if you saw, uh, okay, I suck, okay? Like, I was terrible here, it's true. But if you looked at what the CPU was doing, the AI, that was even worse. Like, he was, like, literally crashing into every single thing. And he didn't even get the points, which I think is the point of the game. So, yeah, he beat me in the race, perhaps. But I definitely beat him in the points. I had four times more. Anyway, I think, yeah, this is a kind of a two-player mode uh, game, you know? Like, maybe with two players it's more fun, but I really doubt it. It's it's really, really bad. It's kind of a memory game. You have to remember where... It, we already had, actually, similar to that before. Very similar, indeed. Next one, Dejectile. This is the demo, and immediately he dies. Wow. Seriously? Wow. This is like the worst demo ever. Oh, it's like Bomberman kind of thing. Okay, okay. I can't believe that I didn't get him. One of them, yay. What the hell is that? Okay, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna beat them all.
Unbelievable. Got the tank though, the other one. Okay, so here you have this kind of like helicopter enemy, you got some tanks, and uh, you got the pill. I, I like, It really looks like a walking pill, to be honest. Uh, the pill is actually the easiest one to get. It's so slow, like, uh, honestly, it's not a problem. The others, though, a bit more tricky. I don't know, like, because I played Bomberman before, I was quite good at it, too. But here it's like, I don't know, they, they try to just avoid you. They, they don't go for you. And that's maybe why I couldn't get that many of them. Only got six of them. Anyway, yeah, it's, I don't know. Look, if you want to play this kind of game, just stick to Bomberman. Like, this is like, it's okay. It's not bad, but Bomberman is so much better. So much better than this. Uh, yeah, game over. Okay, Dejectile. What a strange name, also. Dejectile. Alright, next one, Egg Contest. What the... Wait, is there like another screen there? No. Oh, okay, wait a second. You can just stay in one place, really. You don't need to move. Okay. Um, I think this can go on for quite a while. So... Yeah, all you have to do is switch the uh, direction of the conveyor belt and you barely have to move, you know? So that's not fun. Like if you play a video game, you want to move around, right? You want to look around, move around, do stuff. And here in this one, you basically just stand around, just waiting for these things to drop. And I don't understand because like in the top corner, you have three hearts. So that means you take some kind of damage or something. But if the eggs drop and you miss them, like it doesn't do anything. You, you miss on some points, sure. But you don't like get damage from that. Um, so I don't know. Maybe later there's more, but I'm not, I don't have the patience for it. All right, next one, escape way. What the? Oh, shit. Oh, I see, I see. Okay.
Oops. Damn it. Okay, alright. Hold on a second. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Damn it. Oops, I was too late. Um, yeah, anyway, escape. We saw it. Okay, what happens here is that you are these uh, escape way, right? So you, you are these three balls connected. And if you take any damage to any of them, you pretty much have to restart from the beginning. I think there is, a, well, there is a timer at the top. So it's not just avoiding the traps. You also have to speed up sometimes. But if you speed up, well, look, again, it's one of the memory games. Like, you have to remember, okay, next is the bomb. Next is the uh, carnivore plant or whatever. Uh, you have it's, it's just a memory game. And uh, you have to do it, like, as quickly as possible, but also as carefully as possible. And then, you know, I guess you move to the next stage. But the, the thing is, like, it's annoying because if you take damage to any of the parts, like, it counts as kind of critical damage to, to the whole thing. That's a bit annoying. Anyway, next one, Fairy's Treasure. Fairy's Treasure. Why couldn't they add the Y? Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, nothing works. I'm pushing all the buttons. something Wow What the fuck was that Seriously, okay, just, let me just put, put that on the screen here. Oh, no, that's, that's the demo. Okay, so yeah, this one, honestly, the first problem you're going to have is with the controls. You're going to push all the buttons and basically like nothing works. And sometimes when you push the A button, it's going to fly off and, you know, do something. But while it's flying, you don't have any control over it. So... I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't really understand it. Let me try one more time. Hmm. 
Okay. Alright, honestly, I don't get it. It's like, seriously, nothing works except sometimes... Um, like, the A button sometimes sends the fairy down, but you have no control over where it goes. Sometimes it picks stuff up, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just completely misses everything and flies off the screen, and then you have to... Basically, that's a time waster. I get it. Um... You have to wait until it comes back. And wow, this is bizarre. This is a game with very, very broken controls indeed. Okay, next one is Falling Blocks. Okay. Okay, so it's basically Tetris. shape Okay, um, yeah, uh, it's, okay, basically it's Tetris with, with weird shapes. That's, that's it. That's really all there is to it. I don't know, there is like something in the middle, that there is some kind of like picture with some creature. And uh, when you make the lines, it makes an animation, but I'm not sure exactly what, what it's for. Um, that block... Uh, uh, with the creature seemed to go down a little bit. So I, I don't know, like, are you supposed to bring it down? But I honestly think this is a two-player game, though. So maybe if the other player does something, it counteracts you or something like that. You know how, like, two two-player Tetris is. So maybe it's like that. But I, I don't have another player to play with. So, yeah, uh, for me, it's just kind of a Tetris game with strange shapes. All right, next one is Fated Pirate. It's going to be the last one, too. can't seem to like change the direction of the firing nope 
Okay, well, look, I know a little bit about naval warfare. I know that you have to rotate your ship before you fire sideways. Uh, but it seems like you can't do that here. It's like you can only fire in one direction. That's that's really weird. It still fires the same way. No matter where I point that arrow. Um, okay, I'm trying to like... Just nothing works. How do they move around? I wonder. Huh. Because you see, every time I I do something, it just it points in a single direction. Okay, I honestly don't understand this. Let's try one more time. There must be something I'm missing here. There must be a way to move around. I mean, you can't just... <sighs> I, I don't get it. It's like something is missing in the controls. This is really weird. Um... Okay. Oh, okay. You can push really. Okay. I see. So it's actually the start button. Here it's okay. I'm gonna get this guy first of all. Okay, so you you have the arrow on the map, right? And basically you push start. Uh, the AI is ridiculous, by the way. Look at that. He's just gonna walk right into me. There we go. Okay. rotated the right way. It's kind of hard when they surround you, to be honest. Yeah, um, uh, well, I can't pause, can I? Because the start button is to move. Mm, okay, all right. So this one, I forgot the title already. What was the title? Fated Pirate, yeah. Um. Well, the first problem you have in this game is you have to find out how you can move around because... You, you can try all the buttons, right? Turbo, a B and A. And all it's going to do is just fire in, in one, well, in the direction that you're facing. Sometimes both, both ways, right? So the first problem you have is that's not good because a lot of enemies come from a, an angle or, you know, something. So you have to, you can't like touch them. You, you have to turn your ship around and you have to find out how to do that. So the way you do that is on the map, you you push the D-pad and you get these arrows, okay? And then to actually go there, you push start. So of all the buttons, right? Why they chose start? It's so confusing. Like I, I understand that B is some kind of weird barrels and A is uh, the regular cannonballs. So, I, I, yeah, I guess on a regular controller, you don't have the turbo buttons either. 
So it only leaves you with select and start. But again, start is usually to pause the game. So it's very confusing. Like, okay, at least put it, like choose select or something, but no, they choose they chose the start button. Okay. Uh, the game itself though, I don't know. It's kind of like a bit of strategy. You have to anticipate who goes where. Well, obviously they, they're gonna come for you, but you have to anticipate how fast they reach you because all they have to do is touch you, okay? They don't need to fire at you. They just need to touch you. Even if their boat is oriented the wrong way, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, they can't touch you. You can escape using these whirlpools, but still, like, it's it's not so easy, to be honest with you. But, okay, like, as a game, I guess it's it's fine. It passes, but it's not, like, fantastic or anything. All right, thanks so much for watching. Sorry about the technical troubles earlier on, but uh, everything, I think, is sorted out. Uh, thanks for, so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Tomorrow is Thursday, so I'm going to go back to Fay. And uh, after that, we'll see. Uh, actually, on Friday, I, I had an event canceled, so I might have a bit of time to do the NES thing again. So we'll see how it goes. All right, until then, stay safe, take care. Otaku Ops signing off, and I'll see you next time. Peace.